try to keep today's video short, sweet, and simple because I think Frankie's going to wake up from his nap any minute now. So I'm going to get started with morning meeting. We'll do some calendar. We're going to work on a math activity and lesson today. And then you'll have a little bit of science to wrap it up if you choose to participate in that. So let's get started. Here we go. Good morning, rock stars. It is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Which special do you have today? The beauty of this home learning is that you get to go at your own pace. So if you're feeling like your body wants to be super active today, guess what? You can have PE. If you're feeling really creative, like maybe you want to make music or make a little art project, you could choose to have music or art or a little bit of both. So instead of having a certain special every single day, you get to decide as a family. So which special are you engaging in today? Really? Well, whichever one it is, I hope that you enjoy, you do your very best, and you have fun while you're doing it. Yesterday, we learned two things, maybe three, that make an insect an insect. Do you remember what they were? Insects have to have two things, kind of three, to make it an insect. First, they have to have a certain number of legs. How many legs do they need? Six, that's right. The next thing they have to have is a certain number of body parts. Do you remember how many body parts an insect has? Three, an insect has three body parts. They also have antenna to smell and see and feel the, their way around. Um, and often they'll have wings as well. So that is very interesting. Today, get your brain ready for math. Yahoo! We love you. Love your teachers. I'll be back in just a minute for some power word work and our new power word of the day. All right, our new power word of the day is a three letter word that starts with a Y. The word is, drum roll please, you. Y-O-U spells you. Spell it with me. Y-O-U. What's the word? You. You are one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. You is our new power word of the day. Remember, three letters, starts with a Y, is spelled Y-O-U, you. Think of a sentence with the word you in it and tell somebody at home. Good job. Okay, I thought this would be a fun little game to play with our power words. Your job is to find the word before I am able to find it and flip it over. So I will give you the word, you point to it on your screen, try to beat me to finding it. First word is at. At. There it is, at, A-T spells at. Did you find that one? Next word is big. There it is, right up there. Big starts with a B and it's spelled B-I-G. Next word, said. Oh, here it is down here. S-A-I-D spells said. How about the word down? D starts with a, down starts with a D. Oh, look, there it is. D-O-W-N, down. How are you doing? Are you beating me? Ah, oh, you guys are fast. How about the word who? It's a tricky one. I know it sounds like it starts with a, but it's really one of those W question words. W, oh, right there. W-H-O, who? Nice job, let's do a couple more. How about the word of? Over oh, right here, of, O-F spells of, nice. What about the word get? Get is one of those that is spelled exactly like it sounds, get. Over oh, right here, g-et, get. G-E-T spells get. Let's try for the word Four. 
There it is. F-O-R-4. Last one. Let's see. This will be a bonus round. If you beat me here, you get 10,000 free points. How about the word no? Over here. That is Frankie's favorite word right now. No. Nice job with that game. This is one of those games that you can play at home with a brother or a sister or a parent. Um, it's a fun one. Good job. Are you ready for some calendar? Here we go. When I look at the calendar, I know yesterday was Monday, which means today is Tuesday. And it is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Why don't you echo me? So you're going to say it after I say it. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Nice job. On a Tuesday, April 28th, we know the season is spring. Today's weather is what? Why don't you head to the window? Again, I'll give you 10 seconds to check out the weather and come back with your meteorology report. Go! All right, meteorologists, I'm wondering, is it rainy, is it cloudy, is it sunny, is it snowy, is it thunderstorms? What do you think? Nice job. If we know that today is Tuesday, that means yesterday was Monday. Nice job. And today is Tuesday. That means tomorrow will be Wednesday. Wednesday starts with a W sound. Nice job. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to post a little Jack Hartman video to get your brains ready and thinking about some number bonds for the number six. Then we'll get right into our math lesson. Have fun. Number bonds, number bonds, that makes six. I know my number bonds, they help my math stay strong. Two parts make a whole, let's move and sing along. Right arm up for the one part, left arm up for the other part, both arms up for the whole. Let's go! Zero plus six makes six. One plus five makes six. Two plus four makes six. Three plus three makes six. Four plus two makes six. Five plus one makes six. Six plus zero makes six. Those are the number bonds, number bonds that make six. Zero plus six makes six. One plus five makes six. Two plus four makes six. Three plus three makes six. Four plus two makes six. Five plus one makes six. Six plus zero makes six. Those are the number bonds, number bonds, that make six. I know my number bonds, they help my math stay strong. Two parts make a whole, let's move and sing along. Number bonds, number bonds, number bonds. Welcome to math. As you can see, I have all of my materials that I'll need today laid out so that I'm nice and organized and everything's here to grab right when I need it. If you need to pause the video now to make sure that you have a whiteboard with a number bond template in it, a marker and some kind of eraser so you can clean your work, 
and your six linking cubes. You can pause it here to go grab those things. Press play when you're ready to get started. All right, my friends, our magic number of the day today is, drum roll please, dun, 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 six. We are thinking about six. Put that six thinking cap on, lock it on your head, and get ready because our brain is focused on the number six. Most importantly, we're thinking about how we can break the number six into hidden partners, okay? There are lots of different ways to break num the number six apart, and we're gonna talk about all of those different ways today. One of your activities when we're all done with this is to try to see if you can list all the different hidden partners or the different ways to make six at the end of this. I'm gonna start out with a story, okay? There was a squirrel named Sandy. She was a cute little thing, but she liked to do something tricky. She liked to bury her nuts. So I'm going to pretend that my cubes today are her nuts, okay? She has six of them, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a couple seconds to count your cube stick to make sure that you only have six cubes. Go ahead. Okay, glad to hear that you only have six cubes. Here's my first story about Sandy the squirrel. She buried two of her nuts by the tree. There are the two that she buried by the tree. And she buried the rest of them by a flower. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of them over here. Just like this. We know that Sandy buried two nuts by a tree and the rest of her nuts by the flower. Well, how many were by the flower? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Could I use my marker to draw a picture of what, what we just did with our cubes? Of course we can. I can replace these cubes with the number two, and I could replace or move these cubes and write something in its place, which would be the number We just found hidden partners in the number six. We found one way to break the number six into two groups or hidden partners. They kind of hide inside of that number as their separate groups. Remember to write a number sentence at the bottom, which will look like this. We know we started with all six of those cubes in the party circle, which is the same as breaking them into groups of four, and two. We just wrote six is the same as four and two. You go ahead and take a little bit of time to write that number sentence, please. Good job. We just found hidden partners and I think that I'll actually make a little list over here. I have another whiteboard over here that you can't see. I'm going to make a list of all the hidden partners that we are able to find in that number six. All right, I'm going to give you six seconds to erase. Go ahead. You guys are lucky because you have your number bond template all made for you, but I actually have to redraw mine every time. That's okay. Okay, different story about Sandy's nuts this time because she still buried some of her nuts, but this time instead of burying two by the tree and four by the flower, she actually went over and buried some by the sidewalk and some by the lamp post. Now remember, she started out with six nuts all together. That's our magic number of the day. But some of them she buried by the sidewalk and the rest of them she buried by the lamp post. Hmm. How many nuts did Sandy bury by the sidewalk? Let's count. One, two, three. How many? 
three. And how many did she bury by the lamppost? One, two, three. Wait, the, the parts are the same? Three? So you're telling me that six is the same as three and three? Three and three are hitting partners in six? Oh my golly. See if you can write that number sentence. Six is the same as three and three. I'm going to write it too, and then we can check our work to see if we came up with the same thing. Go ahead. All right, did you finish? This is absolutely correct. Three and three are hidden partners in that number six. If you start with the number six and you take three away, you're always going to have three left. I'm going to add that over here to our list of hidden partners that we came up with. So far, we've ha found hidden partners of four and two along with hidden partners of three and three. Those are two different ways to make the number six. Let's erase. I'll give you four and a half seconds this time to erase. See if you can beat me. Did you beat me? Ah, stinkers. All right, I need to draw my number bond again. I'm gonna actually draw mine this way this time. Let's see if we can switch it up a little bit. If you would like to turn your number bond so it's matching mine, that's fine. If you want to keep it the way it is, that's fine too. This time I'm going to put my cubes back together. That little sandy chickadee, she still is starting out with those same six cubes. I'm sorry, those same six nuts. She must love the number six. Maybe that's how many she can fit in her cheeks. Only six of them. Well, Sandy got a little sneaky one day and she hid five of them by the mailbox. The rest of them, she buried them under the front porch. <laughs> Listen again, she had six nuts. She buried five by the mailbox she put the rest of them by the front porch. Hmm. How many did she put by the front porch? Just one. And how many did we hear she put by the mailbox? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now, whoa, we just found another pair of hidden partners. In the number six, we found hidden partners of five and one. Can you try to write a number sentence to match this story? Go ahead, when you're all done, check mine to see if it matches. Did you come up with the same thing that I came up with? Let's read this sentence. Six is the same as five and one. Another way to say the sentence is six equals five plus one. All that means is that if you have six altogether, you could break them into groups of five and one. I still have six, but they're in two separate groups. Just like here, they're in our two separate part circles. Let me add that to our list of hidden partners. All right, last one, erase, 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 erase. We are going to erase, 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 woo! I've added three pairs of hidden partners to the number six. Let's see if we can come up with one more and then we'll be done. All right, our girl Sandy's back. How many cubes does she fit in her cheeks altogether? Magic number of the day is six. Woohoo! Well, Sandy was tired one night. Guess where she put all of her nuts? Behind the tire of the car. All six of them went 
behind the tire. If she put all six of her nuts behind the car tire, how many does she have left to put over here under the back deck? Zero. She has no nuts left because she put them all behind the car tire. Oh, look at that. <gasps> New hidden partners. Six and zero are hidden partners in the number six. Let's write that number sentence. Here we go. What do we start with? The whole six. What comes next? Is the same as what are the two parts? Six and what's my other part? Zero. Wonderful. I'm going to add that to our list over here. We were able to come up with four ways to make six. Now, I am glad that I remembered to bring these home because these usually get hung up in our classroom when we start learning about this. I have one of these for every number, but it lists all the different ways to make each number, the hidden pairs. But, hmm, something's a little bit odd to me because I see in our list we've made one, two, three, four ways to make six. This looks like a list that is much longer. How many ways or hidden partners do they have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did we miss some? What do you think? Oh, oh, I just noticed something. I noticed that this one, six is the same as six and zero, have the same hidden partners as this one down here. They just flip flop the parts. Check it out. Six and zero are the same hidden partners as they are here. Oh, look at five and one. These numbers down here are five and one. They're the same way to break them apart. They just flip-flopped where the parts were. Huh, kind of like, if I were to go back to this number bond here, instead of writing six is the same as six and zero, I could have written it the other way. Six is the same as, I could of course put this part first, zero and six. So even though they're the same hidden partners, there's two ways to write those hidden partners. That's why it looks like there's so many different ways to make six, but really these are the partner, the hidden partners found in the number six. Good work with that, my friend. Please erase your boards. Your next job is going to be to get lesson seven problem set out of your math binder. So why don't you pause the video here, go grab that, and then we'll work on that together. Great job. You know one of the most important jobs at the top of your paper is to write your name. So go ahead and get started writing your name at the top. The date is 4-28-2020. Remember when we're working on these pages, if you ever need to stop and pause the video because you need a couple more seconds to catch up, that's absolutely fine. The first direction says, look at the birds. Make two different number bonds. Tell a friend about the numbers you put in one of the bonds. So, of course, you're going to have to tell a parent or a brother or sister that you're with. But we need to make up two different number bonds here to talk about this one picture. So right now I want you to think in your head, what are some different ways you could split up these birds? When I look at it, I think right away of a couple different group groups of birds that I see. What do you see? Good. Do you see some big birds and some little birds? I do. Do you see some white birds and some gray birds? Yeah, me too. 
Those are two different ways that we could break up these birds. So if you have a different way, of course, you can go ahead and do it your own way. But if you would like some guidance and you'd like to stay with me, I'll go ahead and do it the way that I see we could break them up into groups. So this first one, we know we have to talk about the whole or all the birds at the party together. So let's count all the birds up to figure out what's going to be in our whole or the party circle first. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to fill in my party circle with a number six. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was our magic number of the day. How about it? Don't you love when our problem sets match our lesson from the day? So special. The first number bond that I'm going to do, I think I'm going to talk about the big birds as one group and the little birds as another group. So this will be the, the circle or the part that talks about my big birds. And this will be my part that talks about the little birds. Let's count how many big birds I have first. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's one part. The other one was talking about, this was talking about big birds. Then this part was talking about the little birds. How many little birds do you see in this group? Two, I do too. We just found the hidden partners for the number six when we were talking about groups of big birds and little birds. Now on this number bond over here, I'm gonna talk about a different grouping. So why don't you go ahead and fill that in the way that I did, or if you wanna do it your own way to find hidden partners in the number six, go ahead and do that too. I'll give you a couple seconds to work on that. Good job. Next over here, I think I'm deciding that I'm going to do my different groups or parts of gray birds and white birds. So of course, all the birds together will be in my hole, but my parts will be talking about gray birds, white birds. Let's look at how many gray birds I have first to talk about this first part. That's white. Oh, there's a gray bird. One, two, three. There are three gray birds. If there are three gray birds, then how many white birds are in this picture? One, two, three. Oh yeah, that one where the number's the same. I found my parts. Last I have to find my whole, all the birds together. How many birds are there all together? There are six. You could count them again if you needed to, but we remember from this one there were six. We just found two different ways to do a number bond, finding two different sets of hidden partners by looking at this one picture up here. Sorry about that. Down here, now, you guys know Mrs. Janeko likes to be flexible with her coloring. This gives very specific colors about which, what colors you need to color these cubes. Guess what? I have one single blue marker here. So I'm going to adjust, I'm gonna be flexible, I'm gonna make an adaptation to use the, the directions that they give me, but in my own way. It says here, color some squares green. I don't have green. And the rest yellow. I also don't have yellow. Write numbers in the bonds to match the colors of your squares. Okay, the colors really don't matter. They want us to color some squares, leave some squares white. Okay, we just have to tell that we have two different color squares here. I'm going to use my one marker. If you wanna go stop and go get a green and a yellow crayon, by all means do. If you wanna use one marker or pen or pencil, go for it. What they're asking me to do is to color some of the squares and leave some of them a different color, okay? Now, when we hear that word, some, I think, oh yeah, woohoo, yippity yeah, I get to pick the numbers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's telling me what I have to color, how many I have to color, or what mine needs to look like. I get to choose. Woo woo. I am going to first start by seeing how many cubes there are all together before I decide how many I want to color. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> wow, six again, that magic number of the day appears. If there are six cubes here, can I color 11 of them? No, Goofy, there's only six to begin with. I'm going to decide that I want to color one of them. Can you go ahead and color one cube? 
Now I can tell that my parts, now remember we're not in art class, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. I can tell that one of my parts is going to talk about my colored cubes. The other part is going to talk about that other color cube. Mine happened to be white still. So when I look at my first part, it's talking about my colored cubes. How many colored cubes do I have? Just one. If I have one colored cube, how many white cubes do I have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, five. Were five and one hidden partners for six? They sure were. Nice job. Over here, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Why don't you take a little bit of time to do this independently to make sure that you're understanding what we're doing here before you go on to the back side for your homework. So again, you get to color any number of these cubes that you want and then fill in the number bond to match. Go ahead and take a couple seconds to do that and we'll be back to talk about your homework. Nice job. If you need more time with that, you can go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, I'm going to go on to explain about your homework. When you flip to the back side of this page, you will see Lesson 7 Homework. At the top here, it says, look at the presents. Make two different number bonds. Tell an adult about the numbers you put in the number bond. Okay, that sounds an awful lot like this bird problem where we had to make two different number bonds about the same picture. So my first time I split them up by big birds and little birds. The second time I split them up by gray birds and white birds. It looks like you could probably do something very similar or almost the same with these presents. Okay, so we don't want to see two number bonds that look exactly the same. I want to see two number bonds that are different because you could group these presents differently. Maybe ones with bows, ones without bows, ones that are gray, ones that are white, ones that are big, ones that are little. Okay. It also says down here on the back of your paper, maybe you'll want to make an adaptation and get a new piece of paper, draw six presents and sort them into two groups. Make a number bond and fill it in according to your sort. So you might need an adult to help you with this, this side and that's totally okay. Um, if you'd like to take a picture and add it on Seesaw to show me your work because you're feeling super proud, I would love to see those. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and I can catch you on Zoom today between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. if you're free. Love you guys. Happy Tuesday. If you have time today and you're looking for something to challenge your brain, head over to the optional activity on Seesaw to see if you can fill out all the different hidden partners for the number six. I'll post a copy of mine as the second page in the template so you can check your work when you're done. Thanks again. Have a great day. Love ya.